Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Box Wave. Um, I haven't done a video in a few days, you know, I haven't really been in the mood, um, you know, because of Ali's death, and then, you know, I found out that Kimbo passed away as well. It's been a rough week, you know, I didn't even get to do a, a post fight video, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I, I haven't even fully seen the, the uh, Vargas and Salido fight yet. And I haven't fully seen the whole Mickey Bay fight with Bardellamy. I didn't really see all of the fights. I've seen good parts of it. But I haven't really been in the mood for boxing the last few days. You know, I just was like, you know, I'm just, just one of those feelings. And I'm seeing what people post. You know, I'm not watching too many videos. But I've seen some videos with the Floyd Mayweather and Muhammad Ali. Uh comparisons and you know a lot of people is discrediting discrediting uh Floyd Mayweather by saying things that he would never be the guy that Muhammad Ali was all right and you know I think you know I think it's kind of messed up you know to discredit all of these other fighters just because of Muhammad Ali and what he did you know I think that's the wrong approach I think we all boxing fans we 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 become very emotional about these fighters, you know, for whatever reason, and I think, I think people just need it, it's not just, it's not even just boxing, it's not even just sports, it's, it's, we become emotional for anything we have love for, anything that we love, it could be a movie, it could be music, I just think, we gotta, we gotta start looking at things, and this has always been my approach on this channel. We have to look at things outside of the box. We can't look at it as in what we what we would be doing if we were in their shoes. We can't look at it because you got to remember at the end of the day, we're just fans. We're not getting in the ring and fighting these people. All right? I'm not getting in the ring and fighting Manny Pacquiao. I'm not getting in the ring and fighting Joe Frazier. Okay? I'm not I'm not that guy. Me as a fan just want to be entertained. It's easy for us, the people that are not fighting, to say what we would be doing. It's easy for us to do that. You know? I mean, even me having a boxing channel. If I don't make a video for a few days, people are gonna be hitting me up like, yo, when you coming back, when you making a when you making a video on this, when you making a video on this. I'm not getting paid to do this. You know, I'm not really doing this for the money. No one is coming out of their pocket to see me talk. I'm just here to entertain you guys that want to see your timeline and see what videos are up because, you know, you're probably bored or you're probably even doing something and you just want to listen to some boxing talk, which is cool. And I appreciate you guys that watch my videos. But at the end of the day, I have other stuff to do throughout my day. And you guys don't care about that. Which is fine, because I don't care about what you guys do on your personal life, neither. But what I'm trying to say is, my point is that we are fans, and we want to either listen, to, we want to watch boxing, we want to talk boxing, we want to listen to boxing, talk, whatever. That's what we're here for. And Muhammad Ali was obviously special. We're never going to have another one like Muhammad Ali. He was way ahead of his time, way ahead of his time. You know, he would have flourished today. That's the one only point in that video that I did about Muhammad Ali and his death. That's the one point that I made in that video is that this man would have flourished in any time, any time. You know, he was way ahead of his time back then because of all the segregation and everything that was going off back in his day. All right. But in today's world, look at many fighters that's been influenced by him not just in the ring but outside of the ring you know when there's a microphone or when they have an interview going on a lot of things that people say are because of what Ali did you know what he was doing back then all right we influenced by him you know and he was influenced by like Sugar Ray Robinson and stuff like that I mean he was influenced by others too but Muhammad Ali was was special you know what I'm saying and it's unfair to compare Floyd because Floyd Floyd did something that's different too from what the norm was in, in, in these fighters today. You know? 
we call it cherry pick it. He calls it being smart, you know, making as much money as possible. Okay, demanding the amount of money that he wanted and made sure he got that amount. All right. He didn't let these promoters jip him of his money. All right. He's not like all of these other fighters that's retired and is broke and now they want to go back and sue their promoter like Tito and, and all these other fighters and Ricardo Mayorga, all these other guys that's broke now. He's not, he, he wasn't that guy, you know? He's looking at the guys like Muhammad Ali and said, you know what? This guy was great, but I want to be better than, it, than him. And not only that, but I want to be healthy at the same time. I'm not in Floyd's shoes, but if that's what Floyd wants to do, we can't say that's bad because we might not think he fought anyone and that he cherry-picked throughout his career. But if you look at his resume, he actually fought really great fighters. Now, he might not have beat them in a fashion that some of us wanted him to beat them in. And I'm not just trying to make excuses for Floyd, but when I say it, I'm seeing people just straight up shit on Floyd. It's like... Like, damn, you, you can't remember some of the fights. You telling me he, you didn't want to see him fight Pacquiao? You didn't want to see him fight Cotto? You know, you didn't want to see him fight Shane Mosley? I mean, you didn't want to see him fight De La Hoya? I mean, he fought great fighters on his resume. You know, he fought them. And he's not getting any credit for it. We sit here and shit on this guy. And we say that he's not top whatever. But, yo, the man... Gave us great fights. And we continue to continue to watch his fight and support his fights. You know, we watch the fights. And he didn't, you know what, the thing about Floyd is, listen, he's not perfect. All right? No one is. He's not perfect. Okay? Even in the ring, he's not perfect. Okay? Floyd don't have the memorable fights that Muhammad Ali had. Okay? He didn't go to war with guys. And that's part of the reason why a lot of people don't give him the credit he deserved. Because when we think of classics, we think in back and forth battles and, and, and you know, in the history of the sport. We think of back and forth wars and overcoming wars and stuff. You know, we don't think of Floyd outboxing a guy for 12 rounds, 10 out of the 12 rounds, you know, almost every single fight. We don't think about classics in that fashion. We don't think of them like that. You know, if Floyd has a semi-competitive fight, we all say that it was a great fight. You know, we think the Cotto fight was a great fight when Cotto's fight doesn't compare to the fights that Muhammad Ali was in, you know, or, or uh, Muhammad Ali's greatest fights. We say that Cotto fight was a great fight. You know, we say that, uh, uh, I, I don't, I can't remember which, which, you know, I'm not even trying to go there or which Floyd fights that people perceive to be great or really good fights, you know. Any fight the my that people thought my Donna fight was a good fight because it was so competitive, but the fights are not usually that competitive with Floyd Mayweather. So we don't place his fights in the top ten. We don't look at Floyd's fights as being all time great because of the fact that he was so dominant. And being that he was so good and most of his fights he you know, outside of maybe two or three fights, they never were, were really close. And the ones that were really close, he had destroyed them in a rematch. So we look at him and we take his credibility away from him because of the fact that he was so skillful and so good in the way that he beat his opponents, you know? And that's something Floyd did. Floyd paved the way for these fighters today. And in some instances, yeah, I think when some fighters are coming out the gate, and they're like, you know, we're the A-side and they're doing all that talking like they're too big to fight certain people or it's all about the money. I understand that those are some of the faults that come with being like a Floyd Mayweather. You know, some of these fighters haven't done shit yet and they're already acting like Floyd Mayweather. And I think that's a problem. But I can see these fighters are doing what they have to do in their career to, to take care of their families and have some longevity when it comes to, you know, capital and making money and stuff. Like, I, I, we don't, we're not them, you know, but we will criticize them because we're fans. We just want to see the fights that we want to see. We don't want to see nothing else but the fights we want to see. But 
coming from them, you know, if I'm saying initials, if I had to be one of them, if I had to be Floyd or I had to be Muhammad Ali, I'm going to pick Floyd Mayweather. You know, look at the amount of money that Floyd Mayweather made and look at what he's doing for the people that he care for. You know, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get some extra money out of somewhere, you know, let's just say, I don't know, let's say some extra money comes somewhere, you know, and I can buy some stuff for myself. But, you know, you know, if I'm I'm not I'm not in a relationship now, but I'm in a relationship, I might buy something for my lady that I wouldn't normally get her or I might buy some stuff for my mom that I wouldn't normally get her or my dad or something that is very expensive that. I probably on my regular paycheck, I probably wouldn't be able to afford, you know, on a, you know, that's what I do when I get some extra money. If Floyd's living a life, we look at him like, damn, he might become broke. He might be broke. This, this, I mean, hopefully he doesn't go broke, but it's obvious that Floyd takes care of the people, the people that know, knows Floyd, he obviously takes care of the people that he loves, you know? He goes on trips and he takes these people that he loved with him, you know, and maybe some of them are around him for the wrong reasons. I don't really know. Maybe some of those people are fake. Who knows? Probably those people wouldn't even be around. Obviously, they wouldn't be around if he wasn't as rich as he is. We all know that. But look at what he does for his fighters. He puts them on he on cards. Some of his fighters are not even really that good. He yet he put them. He puts them on television. He puts them on the main event on Showtime cards when they're just average. You know, he takes care of his people, you know, and I don't really see nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing. We, we're not talking about what he's doing in the ring. You know, I, I didn't want to see the Conor McGregor fight. I didn't want to see the Andre Berto fight. You know, I ranted about that stuff, but. Floyd is doing what Floyd wants to do. If that's what Floyd wants to do, then I don't have to be a part of it. I didn't pay for the Andre Berto fight. I usually pay for his fights, but I didn't pay for that fight because I didn't want to see the fight. You know, I could just say, all right, well, I don't have to have anything to do with it. At the end of the day, we don't have to have nothing to do with it if we really not don't like it. You know, but what Muhammad Ali was doing back in his time, in his day, is totally different from... Floyd and what they're doing, you know, Muhammad Ali paved the way, him and many others paved the way for all of these fighters today. And Floyd is paving the way for all of these other young guys coming up now. We can't just sit here and compare. They're two totally different guys that's living in a, a different time. Floyd doesn't have the struggles that Muhammad Ali, he has new struggles. You know, he has new struggles. His struggles are not the same from Muhammad Ali. All right. When you have ESPN and networks that's always trying to bring him down. No matter what he does, no matter what, there's people out there that just want to destroy him. They want to bring up nothing but the bag. They want to bring up his dom domestic violence and, 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 and all the stuff, all the negative things he's done or said outside of the ring. They want to bring up all of those things. They don't want to bring up none of the accomplishments he's made. So I don't blame him for only wanting to make money and take care of himself because he's not going to get the credit anyway. I don't really blame him. I'd rather him do what he's doing and make the money he's making now and not fall off like the way Mike Tyson did. I'd rather him do that. You know? And he's still putting on people. He's putting on... You got young fighters coming out and he's putting them on, you know? And he's, he's paving the way for those guys. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. Stop comparing them to Muhammad Ali. He's not Muhammad Ali. Is there anyone in the past 30, 40 de uh, decades that's been like Muhammad Ali? No, there's no other Muhammad Ali. So why does Floyd have to be like Muhammad Ali? There is no other Muhammad Ali. Stop comparing the two. I mean, we can sit here and co the compare, but don't bash Floyd because he never would be the man that Muhammad Ali. Floyd got other problems that Muhammad Ali didn't deal with in his time. We're in two different times now. We can't compare the two. I can sit back. I don't like everything Floyd do, but I can't relate to that man. You know? He made one... He made more money in one night than the top basketball, football, baseball players make in several seasons. Okay? 
These guys, these players in other sports, they be having six year, seven year contracts making 200 million. You know? Whereas Floyd Mayweather made over that in one night. You know? It, I can't compare to that guy. Athletes can't even compare to that guy. So who am, who am I to sit here and tell and tell Floyd Mayweather what he should do or what he shouldn't do? Do you ever look at Floyd Mayweather's Instagram or his social media outlets and see the comments people say, the nasty comments? Even guys like Adrian Broner. You know, young guys like Adrian Broner who... I feel needs some guidance, you know. I think he definitely needs some guidance. He wants Floyd to be that guy, but Floyd doesn't really seem to want to be bothered with him, which is fine too. But do you ever look and see uh, some of the things that people say to Adrian Broner? You know, people like Deontay Wilder. Do you see the comments people leave? Disrespectful to their families, you know, their wives, their kids. They post pictures of their kids and people are sitting there Talking about how ugly their children are. I wouldn't blame them. Because now we're living in a world where we're socially connected. I can contact any celebrity directly. And they might not respond to me, but they might read what I say. We're in a different time. You couldn't get that close to celebrities 20 years ago. We didn't have access to them directly. We didn't have that. So stop comparing the times. It's the times are totally different. It's just, it's, when I hear people just bash, you know, a, a, a fighter, a, a icon, a global icon, and Floyd is not a global icon like Muhammad Ali was. You know, even at Floyd's age, Muhammad Ali was that many years ago when it comes to fame and recognition. Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali was like that at, the, at, the, at this age, at this age, Muhammad Ali was... He already fought, I believe, I don't know, Ali maybe was 38 in his last fight. I don't remember how old he was when he fought uh, uh, Holmes or whatever. But I remember, you know, Floyd obviously is older now than what he was back in Ali's last fight. And Floyd can still fight. I mean, he's still undefeated. He was thinking about coming back and fighting Conor McGregor or whatever. You know, but Ali was already an icon way before that. You know, way before that, years before that. But it's because there was no one else like him at that time. There was no other person that said and did some of the things that Ali did at that time. Well, he stood for it. It had to happen. You know, it, we, he's one of the special great people in the African-American community that did what he did. There was nobody out there like that yet, you know. So in that time, he was way ahead of, the time, of his time. And Floyd, in some instances, he might still be ahead of his time because he's the first guy to make that kind of money and he's still healthy. He's still undefeated. You know, he exited the game. I mean, I don't know if he's going to come back, but he exited the game on top. All these other fighters, they exited the game when they had no choice because they was getting brutally beaten at the end of the career, or they were broke, and they were forced to keep fighting because they had to keep making money. They had to get another paycheck, and they kept fighting way past their prime, losing fights, getting knocked out. You know, Floyd May Floyd Mayweather made that kind of money and then some, and left the game. Some people just hate that, and some people just don't understand being in Floyd Mayweather's shoes. I'm not saying I do. But if, if me looking on the outside and saying, well, if I'm Floyd Mayweather, what would I do? Some of you got to start looking at things like that. You can't just look at him and say he should have been like Ali and fought this guy and this guy and this guy. I mean, he fought some good fighters. And you guys are not giving him credit for the fighters that he fought. He might have not fought them in a way that you wanted them to fight. But Floyd Mayweather's not them. He's not them. If you don't want to put him in your top 10 or your top 20 then that's cool. You don't have to. But there's other people that will. You know? Some people probably, there's probably people out there that have him at the number one of greatest of all time, pound for pound. I mean, if that's where they want to put him, then that's where the, I wouldn't I wouldn't put him there. You know, I don't really know where I would rank him. I don't really like doing rankings because I just don't. You know, I think 
when it comes to rankings and being pound for pound, sometimes I think even losing fights give you more credibility, you know? I, I do believe that. I do think that. In some cases, yes. Some challenges you take, and even when you did well in, in, in defeat, it, it still gives you some credibility, you know? So when it comes to rankings, it's hard for me to really place people because not all of these guys fought the same people, you know? That's why I don't really like the power for pound thing, but you guys got to start looking at it from your own shoes and just say, well, I don't really care about what this guy is doing and this. Well, you should because it, you know, these, these are the reason, reasons of why these fighters get in the ring and fight certain people, you know? I don't know. You know, I do think fighters do cherry pick. I'm not trying to say that. I've made videos about fighters cherry picking and always taking the easy way out. But I don't think Floyd always did that. There were fights. There were moments where when Floyd announced that he was fighting Canelo, I was surprised. I thought Floyd would win, but I thought the, the fight with Canelo was dangerous. And I just didn't think Floyd would do it. You know, a lot of people were saying before that fight was, why don't Floyd go up and fight Canelo? Why won't he fight Canelo? You know, and then when he announced it and he beats the guy clearly, easily, not running, standing right in front of him and trading, or not trading, but outboxing him, then people are like, well, he only won because Canelo drained or, you know, or whatever. You know, people make excuses, oh, fight him in a rematch. You know, Canelo got better now. You know, that's that's how boxing is today. And I think fans just need to just, like, when it comes to everything, man, even when it comes to music, you know, and I'm going to end it with this. When it comes to music, man, you got artists like, you know, if you're into hip-hop, you had Notorious B.I.G. comes out with Ready to, to Die. At that time, he was coming from the slums. It was his first album. You know, the things he's rapping about that album is stuff that he experienced on, on, the, on the street. He comes out to life after death. He's already made it. He's already made millions. You know, he's telling you stories like, I got a story to tell that's been on the news lately because of the whole Fat Joe, Anthony Mason, you know, all of that stuff. He's talking about his, his experiences of being a rap superstar as opposed to being, you know, a thug on the street, you know? And people are, you know, back then, people loved the album, but people did did like Ready to Die more because, you know, he they, he was changed. He was a changed person. And we sit here as, you know, we, we look at the music artists, we want you to rap like this. Or you seem, you know, when Joe Budden was dissing Drake because Drake's album came out. I know some of you don't listen to some of this music, but what I'm saying is we compare artists or whatever, whatever genre you listen to, we compare artists' new work to their old work. And what I'm saying is, this artist is not dealing and not living in that same lifestyle he was before he became a superstar. And you got to look at it as the same with boxing. Floyd is looking like, I'm taking care of my family. If I'm going to come back and fight anyone, I got to be making nine figures. Because he's thinking from a guy that's already made over nine figures in one fight. He's not thinking of the Floyd that was getting a few million in a fight back then before he started fighting on HBO, I mean, pay-per-view. He's not looking at that. He's not that Floyd no more. You got to look at Floyd as who he is today, what he's doing now, okay? He's not dealing with what Ali was dealing with back then. You can't compare those two. You can't compare them two. They're two totally different people. And you can't compare to Ali to Floyd Mayweather. You can't compare him to him neither because he's at a different time. But Floyd's looking at Ali and saying, you know, when this war was going on a year, a couple of years ago, when they were, you know, people were comparing the two and I, Floyd made those comments and about who Ali lost to, you know, um, losing to fighters that only had six fights. When he made those comments, OK, Floyd's looking at it like, I don't want to be like that guy. Because look at how his career ended, you know, look at all the money I made. All right. Look at what I'm doing. I'm healthy. I'm good. Look at what I'm at. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I have two successful plant parents. And I love them to death. 
they're great parents and they're successful in everything. But I look at them like, all right, I'm going to take the good and leave out the bad. Because there's some of the things that they've done or still do today that I don't want to be like. I don't want to be like that. You know, I don't want to. I look up to my dad, but I don't want to be like him exactly. You know, and I think it takes. That's why I look at it that way, because I've been I can relate in that sense when it comes to Floyd Mayweather. Like I can look at him and say, I understand why he doesn't want to be like him. You know, Ali passed the other day and there's a lot of people that are happy he passed away because of the condition he was in. They didn't want to see Ali. They don't remember the Ali of today. They remember Ali back when he was great. They don't want to remember him as the old man that has Parkinson's and, you know, doesn't even really talk or anything. They don't, rem they don't want to remember him in this condition. You know, they couldn't wait. You know, they're happy that he's not living in pain anymore. All right. So, um... I, I damn, I didn't even mean the video to be this long, but you know, I just had to get that off my chest. Um, you know, rest in peace, Muhammad Ali, rest in peace, Kimbo Slice. Um, but yeah, that's 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 I'm gonna just leave it at that, all right? So, you guys have a good day. Um, drop your comments, make sure you subscribe, all right? Peace.